So this is a really interesting thing. For patients, it's wonderful, right? We have treatments that are revolutionary that uh, can cure or dramatically improve the survival outcomes for diseases that really had no, no good options. Uh, the challenges, though, they come with significant side effects, right? For some of them, you actually have to be hospitalized in the intensive care unit when you're given the drug. That gives you some idea of the, the danger associated with it. And so even a successful therapy is a little, a little challenging. From a payer perspective or from a provider perspective, understanding that, that risk to the patients and the members, understanding that impact of the cost is, is a real challenge. The other piece that I think most people haven't really thought about is as we think about value, because that's the new buzzword these days, right? Value, we have value in healthcare. Well, each person, each stakeholder values it differently, right? Employers, patients, members, physicians, payers. Uh, but the bigger challenge is the time horizon that each of those recognize their value. For patients, the time horizon is obviously their life. And so they're, they're, they're open to sort of measurement on an ongoing fashion. For employers, perhaps, the, the time horizon that's relevant is the time that someone's an employee. And so amortizing that half a million dollar dose drug across the employed time makes a little more sense. Theoretically, as an insurance company, you'd value somebody just for the time that they're uh, an insured member, which is a, you know, is a real challenge in these situations because they need the treatment now, it's going to be very expensive now. In a year or two, as you start to maybe break even on that uh, member, of course you never would with these new therapies, but conceptually, uh, you know, they may very well be insured somewhere else. And so figuring out how to make those costs fair across the system it is a real challenge. There's no good answers yet.